luck favors those who are willing to work for it. How to get lucky in your CSIR net and gate exams. Who doesn't want to be lucky in their life? I want to be lucky, you want to be lucky, everyone wants to be lucky. But if I have to ask you, who is the luckiest most person in a competitive exam? The obvious answer is someone who topped the exam with the best marks, 100% marks, the topper. We know who is the luckiest person. Let us investigate how can we also get lucky and become a topper of any exam we attempt. How to develop a topper's mindset and how to get lucky for your CSIR net and gate exams. Let's get started. Nobody talks about this, so today we are going to talk about 10 points which will help you do just that. Number one, observation. You need to develop a keen understanding skill whenever you look at anything, whenever you study a new concept, whenever you study an old concept. Look at the questions and observe the goals. Why this kind of questions is being asked in the question paper? What is the goal of the question asker or the paper setter? What are the other kind of questions which can be asked? Observe and observe. That's the first step, my dear friend, to develop a scientific persona and solve questions faster. Number two, planning. Now, many times you will feel planning is such a waste of time. It's just not something for me. Every morning you sit thinking, what about today? So what I have to accomplish today in an hourly manner? Trust me, in my student life, even I felt that. Such a waste of time. But when I started, when I started planning, I realized that I was in a better control of my day and my career. Same way, you must apply this concept of planning if you want to be successful in your life, in your CSI net and gate exam. Number three, tools and technologies. You're lucky that you were born in an era of technology. Whenever I say technology, like study tools, technology based on artificial intelligence and its deployment in student life. That's what I'm talking about. I feel these are little secrets which nobody is telling you. No one tells you about these secrets and you must know how to implement these little technological secrets in your student life. To study better, retain longer and recall faster. Technology has the power to put you way, way, way ahead of your competitors. And during exam preparation, you must embrace this technological aspect. I have made a separate video on top 15 apps that can automate your CSI and exam preparation. The link is given in the description. Do check it out. That will certainly help you do technological changes in your exam preparation. Number four, quick decision making. Luck favors only those who are capable of making instant decisions in life. And especially when it comes to competitive exams like CSIR Net and GATE. If you wish to be successful in these exams or for that matter, any competitive exams, then you must keep in mind that practicing decision making is a must. During your mock uh, practice sessions, you have to decide which questions I should attempt and which questions I should skip. Now, this will help you make decisions faster during the exam pr pressure also. So this is a must guys, do not forget to implement this. Number five, stay fit. Stamina matters. Now it's not the most brilliant of the minds who qualify in the exam, but the ones who have the mental stamina, who have developed the physical stamina to withstand its pressure. If you wish to develop the same, then exercise regularly and do meditation, yoga, whatever possible to keep your mind focused and fit. This will help you handle last minute exam pressure perfectly. Number six, do not procrastinate. Delaying your actions are your biggest enemy. You have to be action taker, otherwise it will bring you bad luck. 
Do you ask me how? Let me answer that. During your exam preparation days, if you keep delaying your studies, studying the tough question topics or solving the previous year question papers or the tough questions of the question paper, then you'll fail to develop a tougher mindset. When the actual exam will arrive, because you have a habit of postponing, even there you will postpone. You will not solve the part C question, thinking that it's so lengthy. Let me first solve the part B questions, which is shorter. It will seem lengthy and tough at the first glance itself. So all you have to do is stop procrastinating. Number seven, no comparison. Take inspiration. Now toppers never compare their preparation status or level of preparation with anyone else. Comparison leads to self-doubt, worry and anxiety. Instead, toppers take inspiration from fellow classmates. They execute their own plan in a much better manner. They improvise, but they don't self-doubt. Number eight, take advantage of opportunities. Now, as a student, you are not supposed to be in a dilemma of cost versus benefits. That's the job of parents. Your job is to look at the rewards of success. So never fall into that trap, that dilemma situation or catch 22 situation where you keep pondering, where you keep wondering whether you should take up that coaching, whether you should take admission in a coaching if you are not able to focus and prepare better just because it costs you. Whether you should buy that book or tool which will help you simplify your exam preparation. Remember, cheap things never give you the same level of value as a slightly costlier alternative. In today's world, there is a cost associated with almost everything. So, no one can give you your time which is lost if you keep wondering about money. You can earn money, but you cannot earn time. So do not, you know, fail. You have to decide today if you want to get lucky or not. So stop thinking about that. Next point, surround yourself with the right mentors. No one can become Sachin Tendulkar of their field without the right coach, the right mentor. So it's very important for you to surround yourself with the right set of experienced experts, mentors, who are 24 by 7 available by your side to support your exam preparation. They will be able to highlight your mistakes and rectify them during the practice sessions itself so that you do not go and repeat the same in your actual exam. Costly mistakes are lethal. Next point, learn from other people's mistake. Now there's a famous saying, why commit a mistake and then learn from it? Instead, you can learn from other people's mistake. When I heard this, I was like, wow, that's a nice concept. Now the easiest way to do that is joining coaching and surrounding yourself with like-minded students, like-minded people, and like-minded teachers who all are dedicating their next six months or 12 months 24 by 7 for the same goal as you. They will also commit mistakes. You can learn from them. Bonus tip. Stay away from online gossip. Now, online gossip is the most dangerous form of gossip which can kill and destroy your self-confidence. It can make you feel belittled and make you believe that you are not going to qualify the exam. You're not good enough. So, as a student, your belief in yourself is your biggest asset. And gossip kills that. Gossip destroys it completely. So, so stay away from joining online gossip. You know, uh, stop joining random forums and start listening to what people are saying. All right, so these are the 11 tips which you, you can use to uh, become lucky in your exam and help. It, it can help you qualify with top marks. Remember, it's not only the bookish knowledge you need. You need grit, you need determination, and of course, you need good luck. Good luck can be in, enticed by accepting opportunities. Students who take action are favored by the goddess of good luck. So if you want to be lucky, if you want to get lucky, 
make sure you have these 10 or 11 elements or precursors of getting lucky. Then only you will become lucky. All the best for your exams. Signing off, Shekhar Suman, CEO and Managing Director at Biotechnica and Rasayanika. Bye-bye.